Hey guys, it's B I E N D E O, and welcome back to Swipe Swiftly's Wicked Ride. This is my favorite stage, in case if you haven't noticed that I've kept saying it for quite a while. Last part. Whoa, gosh! This is why I love it. Just enemies! And they die easy pretty well. You know, they don't run after you and all that stuff. You just gotta be wary of them and then just spin them away. And they're like, guard, guard. That being said, try to try to catch your, your crystals if you drop them, because this goes on for quite a while. It's not one one bit, by the way. It's just a, for the most part. <laughs> the level consists of that. But that's why I love it, because it just does the craziest stuff. I believe there's one more of, of something similar to that. You may be going, okay, well, first of all, you just picked up one crystal. Well, that's because, for the most part, the stage is built around crazy moving platforms. Believe me. Now, don't go over to the right. I think that's actually where the stage progresses. I might want to get onto that. Yeah, I believe the stage progresses on down there. One has the one that doesn't constantly keep moving. Eh, eh. But it's so much fun. The next stage is agonizing, ag agonizingly difficult. Wow. Agonizingly difficult. But this stage is just some good old fun. Just because it does something very cool. Which one is it? Is it? Oh gosh. I think it's this one. That doesn't fall. No, they both fall. That had a colored crystal on it, so I'll say that was the right one. But if I'm missing a crystal by the end, you know who to blame. Myself. On guard! On guard! Yaha! I just love their voices. They only appear in this level. But it's like so fun! And yes, I know we're moving the rest of the stage. Because otherwise the jumping would just be weird, like when we get to the bottom. Oh, what's going on there? Okay. Okay, what else are we doing? This bit is just strange, isn't it? So, I'm presuming they'd be hiding one of the gems in here. What? Crystals? We're, we are up to 4-5, and I'm still calling them crystals. Uh, gems. So when I want to call it gems, I call it crystals. When I want to call it crystals, I call it gems. Makes sense. And there would be a gobble in that middle. Okay, well, I guess that was. Uh, blue one? Uh. Why do I got blue one? I'm panicking. I'm panicking. Why have I got blue one? I should have gone the red. Uh, yellow one. I'm panicking! Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's... it's strange. I know. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> Forgot the drift. Bet you this one's a colored. Oh, bet you this one's a colored. Oh, bet you this one's a colored. I'm not good at these bets, to be honest. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, for goodness sake, stop hitting me. Hey. Seriously, like one of these is the gem? Crystal? Oh, gosh. 
I've got four gobbos, so I'm assuming I... Oh, goodness. Maybe one of these is... Yeah. Oh, my goodness. See, this this stage isn't annoying. It's just, like, kind of crazy. There's the yellow one. Now I'm not panicking. I was going like, why is the blue one before the yellow one? Again, that just confuses me. It's like the star coins in Mario Brothers, um, in Mario 3D Land. They put them in order, like they list them in the order that they actually appear, for the most part. So, why, why change the order of them? You gotta keep the order, yeah. Keep the order, ah, oh, for goodness sake. So now I gotta get myself a gobbo, which will probably be in here. There you go. Again, that end. Ah, how many lives? Twelve. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Whoa, goodness! Where are we going? Oh, for goodness' sake! At least it's a killer one and not a, a time limit one. Oh, goodness! So I gotta notice where the next platform is coming. It's like really quickly. Oh, gosh. Nerve racking! <laughs> Nerve racking! But at least it's something pretty original. I will say that. I will say that. Ooh, 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 I'm a redneck. I like chicken. No offense to rednecks. Well, I'm sorry, you guys. You guys have been stereotyped so many times. All right, I'm almost there. No, I'm not! i even start shrinking before you get on. Yep! There you go. Give me Gobbo! <laughs> yes! So happy. And that's good, because you know what? The next stage is going to really annoy me! Oh, I don't like this next stage. Not at all. But I'm willing to sacrifice my sanity for it. That being said, though, look at this, 74! Yeah! And then, you know, final boss, yeah. Oh my goodness! This is why, you remember those spinning platforms in 4 4? Yeah, imagine a whole stage where they'll spin for you. And you may be going, oh, that's not bad. You just gotta time it well. You haven't seen the worst of it. It gets really bad near the end. It gets, like, severely bad at the end. Uh, fun fact, by the way, the sequel of this game, uh, Croc 2, was intended to be released for Sega Saturn, but, like, they were just like, nah, we'll make it for Dreamcast, because Dreamcast was out by then. And that, but, you know... Fox Interactive, they... Fox Interactive said, ah, oh, no, don't do it, it won't sell well, and stuff. Like, pretty late in development, they were, like, pretty... pretty ready for it. Yeah, look at that. Okay, you gotta try and jump through all these. And I run out of time. Considering that they put these boxes... Okay, so you may be going, that's not bad. Here it is! Trying to jump two at once! I recommend trying to jump as soon as you land on the next one, just so you don't slide at all. Because seriously, you just slide a lot. It's, it's extremely annoying. If you, it, I recommend, if you're gonna slide on one of them, slide on the latter one, because you don't slide as much. And now they're moving. Huh. Okay, thank thankfully that one's not gonna s spike me. Why isn't it just a regular moving platform? That'll just make it a bunch easier. Wow! I'm sorry, but I'm just going like, what? Alright, I am a bit confuzzled. 
these moving platforms. I'm going like, where the heck are they going? Maybe they move between the moving and then the stopped or the, I don't know. Gobbo! No, crystal. It's barely any crystals. So if I stand on that, that's going to spin over. No, it's going to go upward. Huh. And it'll spin over? No, it's going upward. Why it's going upward? Maybe I'll... Oh, frick! That's the thing! I have no clue where they're going! I've got enough lives for it. Ten lives is plenty. But again, you know... You know, it's just like, where are they going? Alright, so I, I I really don't like the stage that much. I see the why am I doing that? I see the intention of it. I definitely see where they're going with it, but the fact that it's just like, you know, the last stage, and the fact that you got like Grimace from McDonald's up there. Or Cookie Monster. Cookie Monster with a broom. No, with a hammer. It's not a broom, jeez. Okay, just get out of this bit. Get out of there, Charlie! Oh, good, goodness. You know what? It keeps going! So you assume it all to work. For the most part. You assume that you just gotta try and jump through it. Pretty good time. Oh, no. This one's gonna spin over, isn't it? Oh, for goodness sake, oh. I'm sorry, that was just going like the other way, and I was like, oh no, it's gonna like flip over. Oh gosh. Painful. That being said though, the gobos in these past two stages and stuff, the last one was kind of a little bit of a worry. So was I standing on the one that actually span around? I don't know, I just went Next time. There you go. I'm going go diagonally. Alright. Yeah, the gobos haven't been that bad. It was just really bad that time before. In uh, World 3. World 3 was just really annoying. Don't know why. Ha! Ah. Yaha! <laughs> the other thing is that you may get. Whoa. Okay, that, that's emulate lag. Like. PlayStation lag. You may get a bit disoriented from the fact that, um, he, Cooking Monster over there, he's moving himself. He, he moves up with, wait, what? No gobos? What the heck? No gobos? What am I gonna pull off now? Oh! No! That was a really stupid move, by the way. But, oh! What? <laughs> How could you? How could you do this? <laughs> Is there a gong at the end? Okay, there's a gong at the end, so I gotta, like, plan all this out. Ah, uh, okay, I gotta go back. It worked! <laughs> I, I mean, I understand this is the last stage with gobos. So yeah. Be happy, it's the last stage where you have to collect these freaking gobos. After all, they... You know what, you don't even... You barely collect gobos in the sequel, so... Ah! Oh! I'm at least glad that all the gobos are still collected and now I've got plenty of lives to keep going, but... Look at this! Wow! I gotta survive jumping on like three of these. And I can't watch him! He's not around, so I can't see when he's doing it. I gotta just go by ear. So if you're not playing with headphones, it's gonna be pretty difficult. Oh, now I gotta go all the way around again.
Yeah. Oh! Ah, oh, six lives, six lives. I'm just gonna go on the left. Oh my gosh! This is why I've never beaten this before. With all the gobos. It's just ludicrously difficult. The second game has is difficult on a design standpoint. Not, not really... It's a bit more f tough to figure out the second game. The second game is a lot more about puzzles rather than just platforming skill. And I will appreciate this game because of that. That being said, though, we did it! We're at the end! Yes! So I'll see you guys next part. No, I'll drag this on. It's the last part, you know. Oh, here's, here's the password yet again. Uh, I'll drag this on because I, I like drag. I love dragging on the last part. It's, it, by the way, it's not the complete last part. We've still got, like, we'll probably have a few more parts to to do the LP. We'll have, like, um... Because, you know, we've still got eight bonus stages as well as another three... Uh, uh, as well as another world. Half world. It's, it's a half world, but still. So he's like, yes! <laughs> so he's just gonna be like... Rawr. He does the Michael Jackson with the glove on one hand. I don't think it's the right hand. Or it is the right hand, but... I don't think it's the correct hand, like Michael Jackson's song. Oh, oh that was nowhere near me! So you'll be happy that no more gobos to collect! Yay! But you will have to collect something else. Puzzle pieces! What are they? Well, basically, that's just the collectibles for the special stages. It's like, basically, just it just finishes the stages. Now, this bit, basically, you're going to be attacked by these guys. I definitely remember this last stage, because I practiced it a bit. Ah! But yeah, you, you, you want to get off these platforms quick. But other than that, you know, it's not really that difficult. Yeah, isn't that kind of weird? There's not really as much precision platforming. That being said, though, here's Baron Dante. Get a oh gosh, generic ground pound attack. Watch out! He's got generic ground pound attack. Oh. You wanna watch out for his generic ground pound attack. When he misses, he'll be very sad and he'll get hit. Pretty much. His fist seems to get bigger. When you hit him three times. He starts spinning around and form two. It's kind of strange, actually. He basically stands still. He'll charge into the wall. He'll wobble, and then you can hit him. Now go back into the center and try again. You want to try and move just out of his path, but you don't want to make him move entirely, because otherwise he'll just aim towards you again and reset the time. You just want to kind of side skid that way. That works. So he's like, yeah, I'm looking that way, so I'll just kind of step over here. He's flying. Nah. Oh wait. Yes, he is. <laughs> so say, so form three basically starts flying and starts firing laser beams at you. He's doing that. That's when you hit him. Now, how to avoid those thingos? I don't know. Just keep jumping and hope for the best. Try and pick up your crystals. Just pick up your crystal, that's how it works. Now he fires sets of three, and then he'll fire six, and then... You're dead! I don't care! So you may be going, are you serious? That was it. Well, that was kind of it, yeah. Oh yeah, happy dance. And then there he is, the king Rufus. That's his name apparently. So he does the exact same dance. Hop in the bag. It's kind of weird having the king in your back in your backpack. King of Teensies. <laughs> so anyway. As a reward for winning the game, you get a nice monument. Oh, sorry. Oh, come on, you can tell. And 
and everybody's happy because you hopefully rescued all of them. Oh no, there's gobbos everywhere. Dancing everywhere. Of course you gotta clap with the music. I'm awesome. And that's it. Seriously. So anyway, Fox Interactive. That was it. Um, you may be wondering, what is this stage you're, see you're seeing and why there are four gongs and whatever? We'll get to that. There's a lot of beta stages that are a bit hard to find, and unfortunately, the person who uploaded the videos of them, uh, who is also the same person who uploaded, like, how to get the music on the PC version, or at least roughly how to get them, uh, yeah, that person has walkthroughs of this whole game, and, um, pretty much, pretty much have shown off every single thing about this game, including beta stages and things like that. Um, this, this has been a very fun game to play. It, it's been a real big nostalgia check, uh, yeah. Nostalgia chick, no. It's been a real, real big nostalgia trip. Um, I've, I've, I really liked playing this game. It got a fair bit annoying trying to get all those gobos. I will probably like the sequel more just because I play, I, I know the sequel a lot better than the first game, to be quite honest. Um, the first game I haven't played in a lot longer. And there's musicians. See, when I saw the credits the first time, I was like, musicians? What? When? What? How? Who? <laughs> um. So, yeah. Um. So, will I recommend this game? Yes. It is a very good game to play. It, I'd recommend trying to find the PlayStation version, just because it'll definitely work. A PC version, it'll be kind of rough to work. And a Sega Saturn, it's... Sega Saturns are a bit harder to find. The fact, if you're on the PlayStation 2 or PlayStation 3, uh, your PlayStation 1 games will probably work. Uh, and you may be going, oh, I'll just download on the PlayStation Store. Nope, doesn't work that way. And you know what's one problem? The music just cuts out. Now look for the secret jigsaw pieces! Wait, what? Oh, again with that platform. So anyway, this is the other special stage, Jailhouse Croc. With that being said, here's a password. And in the next part, we'll be tackling on all these secrets, all these special stages, okay? And I'm gonna do an all-nighter right now. You'll be, pl you'll be proud, Oyster Boy. I'm doing an all-nighter. It's 10:31, and I'm still going. 80% though, so these stages won't be as long as I'll probably knock them off in a few parts. Maybe we'll have like three or four more parts left. But in that case, I'll see you guys next year or tomorrow or whenever this video is coming out.